AQA, A-level physics, astrophysics, uh, video number five, and this is about apparent magnitude. Now, this is the bit of the specification that we are going to be looking at. Let's gnash on. Now, there's a couple of terms that you should really learn, okay? Uh, after the next few videos, you'll know what I'm on about, but let's introduce them here. Luminosity. Now, the luminosity of a star is the total amount of energy emitted by the star every second. It's the power output of the star, joules per second or watts. The total amount of energy emitted by a star every second. Then we have two magnitudes. There's the apparent magnitude and the absolute magnitude. Now, the apparent magnitude will depend on the luminosity of the star, how much light it's giving off. Uh, it will also depend on how far away it is. The apparent magnitude is how far, how bright it appears to us. We'll talk about the scale. It's a very arbitrary scale, but it's how bright the star appears to us with the naked eye when we look up in the sky. The apparent magnitude, how bright it appears to be. The absolute magnitude that's more related to the luminosity. It's not the same as the luminosity. The absolute magnitude is how bright a star would appear if it were 10 parsecs away from the Earth, if it were a certain distance away from the Earth. If we got all of the stars and we put all of these stars at the same distance, then we could compare how much light they're giving off. OK, so the absolute magnitude is how bright it would appear to be if it were 10 parsecs, which is about 32.6 light years away from the Earth. So luminosity, apparent magnitude, absolute magnitude. In this video, we're talking about apparent magnitude. Now, this guy here, Hipparchos or Hipparchus, on the uh, astronomy, it's spelt differently. But so he came up with the scale of apparent magnitude. Um, in good conditions, without any light pollution, when it's very, very dark, there's about 40,000 stars which are visible to the naked eye. Now, Hipparchus, uh, 150 BC, came up with a scale of apparent brightness. And he decided that the brightest stars in the sky that's little m equals one. And then the dimmest stars that you can see with the naked eye, little m equals six. So uh, bright stars, the very brightest stars, m is one. And then the dimmest stars, m is six. Uh, and then the, there's a scale between them for all of the other stars. It's a very weird scale because some of the stars he said M is one, there's actually stars which are brighter than that. Um, and it is not a linear scale, it's very, very subjective, okay? Now, we've got instruments now that can actually measure the amount of light coming from a star. And what we see is that an M is one star is actually a hundred times brighter than an m equals six star. So if m equals one is a hundred times brighter than m equals six, how many times brighter is an m is one compared to an m is two? Can you figure it out for yourself? I'll put you out of your misery. The answer is 2.51. Uh, you don't need to know, it's actually called Pogson's Ratio. Now, why? Because 2.51 to the power of 5 equals 100. Okay, so uh, uh, M is 1 is 2.51 times brighter than 2. Uh, M is 2 is 2.51 times brighter than 3, etc. OK, so these M is one, two, three, we call them orders of magnitude. OK, it's not a linear scale. So here's a simple little question. Uh, 
this is, you might recognize this, this is part of a constellation called Ursa Major, uh, and I've labeled some apparent magnitudes, and MIRAC is, M is 2.3, uh, MIRAC, I'll show you there, it's, actually it's one of the pointer stars, there's MIRAC and Dube, they're very, very useful because they point to Polaris, and if you find Polaris, you know which way is north. Anyway, MIRAC is 2.3, uh, MEGRES is 3.3. Uh, which star is brighter, first of all? Well, you should know that it's the 2.3 because the small numbers are brighter. Uh, how many times brighter is it? Well, it's one order of magnitude, so that means it is 2.51 times brighter. Remember, small numbers mean brighter um, and it's not a linear scale it, and it's very subjective. Okay.